Hey, how's it going? Train is here. Welcome back to Diablo 4. So, this time, a Necromancer. I'm level 74 and I'm a minion based build. Let's go over the items, the skills, the paragons, the book of dead and also some gameplay. I am playing with the controller. Uh, I really like this with the Necromancer, especially because um, most of the time you will just be picking up items and things like that. But yeah, I can always recommend playing with controller in Diablo 4. So the skills, um, I am not using a basic skill. So I only have these because I needed them to unlock the next um, core skill. So yeah, I am not using this. I am using the bone spear just for the massive damage. And I'm also picked up this one uh, just for the lucky hit to be a corpse bomb. I have the blood mist. I have this um, just purely for the defense and to get out of combat quick if I am uh, in trouble. I also picked up the skeletal warrior mastery of course for the more damage. Also the grim harvest so consuming a corpse gives you more essence. Also this one so I deal more damage once consuming a corpse. In the curse skills I went for the decrypify just for the slower movement speed. And also the less damage enemies deal. Also picked up the enhanced of course. And then I went for this one. Just for a lucky hit. Because my build um, needs a lot of lucky hit. So this yeah, this is a very nice one I think. I also picked up the amplify damage here. The death's embrace. And also the death's reach. And of course the skeletal mage mastery. Now... In the corpse skills, I picked up the corpse tendrils just to pull everything together. Um, <coughs> I really like this skill, I really recommend it. Also, the enhanced, of course, so uh, more range. And the plagued corpse tendrils, so more vulnerable damage. By the way, I also picked this one up here. So, bone spear makes the first enemy vulnerable. I think vulnerable damage and vulnerable. Um, and possibilities to make enemies vulnerable is pretty good with Necromancer because of all your pets. In the ultimate skill I went for the Golem Mastery of course and also all the pet buffs. So yeah, pretty nice ones. I would recommend filling in these in as soon as you can. Which I am pretty happy about um, all these. And the key passives I went for the Galan's Addict. Yeah, I think this one is um, mandatory. And yeah, pretty nice one. So always build towards this one as fast as you can. Now my Paragons. So, I'm level 74, so I don't have all the boards yet. But I started on the first board. I went to the right. I'm also thinking about picking up this one later. Also picked up this um, cliff socket, of course, with the um, mage cliff. So skeletal mage damage. And I'm also working towards the requirement. Also picked up these two. Just for the more armor, more damage. The second board. Um, is the minion board. So the gold leader here. Also picked up all the rare nodes. And for the glyph socket I picked the dead raider. So minions deal damage to an enemy. That enemy takes more damage from them. Um, and then I went to the golem board. And I have control in this one, just for the um, chilled enemies and frozen enemies more damage, because my mages will cause blizzard, and everything will be frozen almost all the time. And I'm also going to the legendary node here. So yeah, golem is uh, pretty strong, so this will buff it even more. Same for the rare nodes here. But yeah, so far I'm pretty happy, I'm not sure what board I should go next, but yeah, I will come back to that later. Now, the Book of Dead. Uh, I picked the Skeletal Skirmishes here, and went for the additional Skirmisher Warrior. Just for the extra, yeah, extra minion. For the Skeletal Mages, I went for the Blizzards, as I said before. So, the Ice Mages, and then I went for the Essence Regeneration. Because I'm not using a basic skill, so I am... Um, are a little bit depending on other skills to generate essence. Then the golem. I went for the iron golem here. And I went for the slam 
that makes the enemies vulnerable. So yeah, I'm happy about these ones. Uh, I'm thinking about switching up the iron golem here just for uh, something else. But for now, I really like it, especially because they buff the golem, so they all uh, have a slam attack, I believe. So yeah, pretty nice. Now my gear. Um, since I'm level 74, I don't have the highest gear yet for the helm. I went for uh, the resistances, just for the defense, and also the imprint, more defense and more armor. I also went for the ruby with maximum life here. So just basically uh, more defense for me, because I have experienced that I am uh, the weakest part of my army, so I need to buff up my uh, own defenses. My chest, it is a pretty low item power, but yeah, the roll, uh, I only have this one because it uh, rolled maximum minion life, very high, and also the total armor is uh, pretty okay. The imprint here is, um, yeah, it is a must, especially with um, paragons I have. And this will basically make it so your uh, gold mages cast blizzard and everything will chill and freeze. I have already a better one uh, from this aspect. Yeah, so this one. But I'm still looking for a better uh, harness here, so yeah. The gloves, well, these ones are okay. Um, but I'm still looking for better ones. I'm also really looking for lucky hit chance. So yeah. Once I find that, I will uh, probably replace these. The imprint here is um, needed also because of the Skeletal Warriors more summons. My pants, these are alright. They get a lot of damage reduction, also uh, damage reduction for close enemies. And this is especially good because with the minion build you will be always close to your minions. So you will be in fights a lot. And also the total armor is pretty nice. The imprint here um, is also a good one for your minions. Also the gems with extra life for the more defense. My boots, uh, maximum evade charges. I just really like this stat. Um, I like it to be able to move a bit around on the battlefield. But also the resistances are pretty nice. And also the uh, imprint. Yeah, My weapon, uh, still looking for a better one. But at the moment it is uh, alright. Deals... Um, decent damage and also the imprint is uh, needed so your minions can increase damage while alive also more overpower damage this is mainly for the bone spear because this is a good damage uh, skill now my amulet the minion attack speed is uh, really good on this one uh, but the crowd control duration yeah I can uh, probably respec this one to another one same for the crowd impaired duration uh, but the plus ranks of all curse skills is very nice because I'm always using the Cryptify. My uh, ring, this imprint is also uh, pretty good because they make uh, enemies more vulnerable. Uh, and also the maximum minion life and lucky hit chance. So I'm pretty happy about this one. And then my uh, ancestral unique ring. This is a uh, yeah, very nice one. So lucky hit chance. So big damage from your um, skeletals. I never found this ring before, but yeah, it is pretty strong. And I'm really happy about it. And this is especially why I need the lucky hit. In my uh, amulet I have the cold resistance, in my ring the lightning resistance, and this one the fire resistance. So I just recommend uh, trying to get your um, resistance as high as possible, as soon as possible. So I'm not using a basic skill as I said before, so I have bone spear. The Cryptify, then I have the Blood Mist, Corpse Tendrils, the Golem ability, and also my uh, Skeletal Summon ability. So if you go over the skills, there's one particular skill to keep in mind, and this is this uh, the Raised Skeleton skill. So if you have summoned all your skeletons, you will summon a Skeletal Priest. Um, now this one stays 8 seconds, but always uh, remember to cast this one within these um, 8 seconds. Because this uh, buffs your minions a lot. So let's do Nightmare Dungeon tier 24. So basically cast your bone spears on the enemies. And also just let your pets um, kill everything. If you are in trouble cast your blood mist. And always cast your priest. If there are a lot of enemies use your corpse then rush. 
and always use your Gripify. The Gripify will also help with the cooldowns. So. So I forget to cast my um, ray skeletons once in a while. But yeah, it is uh, pretty good to cast it just once in 8 seconds. I am personally a big fan of the blizzards here. I really like this on the little mages. It's also very nice if it stuns and also freezes and slows enemies. And I believe your minions will inherit a little bit of your own stats, so maybe cold damage can be good on your own gear. You're a saint. I haven't really looked into my construct with this uh, this character, so I'm not going over that that one at the moment, but I have I a little shield, essence. so I get shielded once in um, X seconds. And also um, it heals me, I believe. Just to be uh, to be I more safe. Oh, big room here. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky with this build because you can't really command your minions. But I would like for them to um, to put this into the game. But yeah, keep this in mind and just stay a bit back or walk back or use your blood mist if you are in trouble. But the build it feels pretty nice. This is also pretty strong, especially against bosses in the hell tide. This is pretty okay. Just stay back a bit. To, um I'm out of essence. So this lightning in this uh, particular dungeon can deal can deal pretty uh, pretty hard damage. So I would recommend just stay in the dooms once they uh, appear. Nice. Well, this remembers me. Always take an elixir here. Travel to the Council of Thieves. I see a boss inside of this chamber. So the blood mist also makes you invulnerable. For a couple of seconds, so yeah, I, uh, I really like this. Just some panic button. I am sometimes very low on essence, but yeah, it doesn't really matter because your essence will also be generated quickly. But I must use my decrypify more. I always forget about this skill. I uh, personally also a great fan of the bone spear here. Just to be able to do a little bit of damage yourself uh, from the background. So we have protection shrine now. 
can maybe uh, just push a bit. Blood Mist also deals damage. So if you pull the enemies together with your corpse tendrils, you can also deal damage with it. So we are near the boss. Let's see how strong these ones are. So this can be a bit hard for me. Luckily, skeletons will deal with a lot of them. Hopefully they can um, clear them. Nice. So, yeah, it was pretty easy. So I can probably um, crank the difficulty up. So what do we want to increase here? I think I go for the chilled enemies, just because everything is always chilled. So let's level that one up. But yeah, it is a pretty okay build, uh, especially if you are farming, because all your minions will just target random units around you. Clearing is uh, pretty nice, especially in the hell tide, for example. But for now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and I see you in the next one.